What's up, guys? It's Zach, and today I'm going to be ranking all 32 starting running backs in the NFL. Hope everyone's having an amazing day so far. I'm just going to make sure I have my depth chart open on the left and make sure I am not forgetting any starting running backs. Starting things off with the Kansas City Chiefs and Isaiah Pacheco. Off the top of my head, I cannot name 16 running backs that is better than Isaiah Pacheco, so we're going to throw him in that middle ground, about that 15-16 spot. We will be moving players up as we go. Okay, starting up, we got Derrick Henry now. I don't know if Derrick Henry's top eight. I, I will throw him in there for now, but he might be falling down the list as the list progresses. Up next, we got DeAndre Swift. He's pretty close to Derrick Henry, honestly. So I'm going to throw DeAndre Swift behind Derrick Henry. Uh, and guys in the comment section below, do not throw any Lamar Jackson slander. Because, you know, uh, that joke's been old for about five years now. Uh, up next, we got the Atlanta Falcons. Is it um, Algier or is it going to be Bijan Robinson? Probably Bijan, right? Yeah, so Bijan Robinson. I'm taking Bijan Robinson over both Derrick Henry and DeAndre Swift. Just from his rookie season, this guy's electric. Everyone knows for running backs, the younger you are, the more value you have to the game. Up next, we got. Is this going to be Devin Achan or Raheem Mostert? Looking at the depth chart, it's going to be Raheem Mostert. But I think Achan's going to get the nod. And it honestly, it really doesn't matter because both of them are not better than Pacheco. So we'll throw them in at that 16 spot for now. Uh, up next, we got Kyron Williams. Uh, I like Kyron Williams better than Pacheco and Devin Achan. Um... Yeah, dude, Kyron Williams with a very monster season. He's kind of like the only reason the Rams were able to stay in the playoff hunt for as long as they were in there, you know? Uh, up next, we got Kenneth Walker the third. This is an interesting one. I loved him when he was at Michigan State. Uh, he hasn't really done too, many, too much so far in the NFL. Um, definitely has potential to have a big outbreak season, but... I'm going to throw him behind everybody so far. Up next, we've got Ramondre Stevenson, who had a down season last year. Um, I'm still taking Stevenson over Kenneth Walker just because of what I've seen so far. But these two could easily be switched by the end of the season or even after week one because they're both really close. Uh, Commanders. Who is your running back? I have no idea. Oh, they just they signed Austin Eckler? Really? Dude, this might be a hot take here. I'm throwing Austin Eckler underneath Isaiah Pacheco, which is crazy because I think for fantasy football, he was like RB5, but he just needs to have a really good season in order to get that respect back in the NFL community. He's definitely not a top five running back just like uh, he was last season. So it'll be interesting to see how far we can get Austin Eckler going up these rankings. Um, up next, I know Ezekiel Elliott signed back. Ezekiel Elliott's number one on the depth chart, really. Um, I am going to throw him in 17 to 24. Yeah, he's there's no way he's getting up to the six, top 16 caliber. Honestly, I'm throwing him in 25 for now. Sorry, Dallas fans. Uh, up next, we got Arizona Cardinals. Is this still James Conner, or did they draft a guy... Um, I cannot find the Cardinals. Okay, no, it is still James Conner. Uh, there is some guy named Trey Benson. I'm guessing that was like a rookie they signed. But for now, it's still James Conner. I'm still taking James Conner over Stevenson and Kenneth Walker. Uh, James Conner is still a very uh, serviceable running back. And based off Stevenson and Walker not having the best of seasons last year, I think James Conner will get the nod for me right now. Up um, next, we got the Chicago Bears. It is going to be... Uh, wait, no, the Bears are DeAndre Swift. Wait, who the heck? Oh, the Eagles? Oh, my God, bro. I, I'm going to have to... I'm not cutting it out, but it's going to be Saquon Barkley. Barkley's going above both uh, Bijan and Derrick Henry. I completely forgot Barkley even went to the Eagles, man. Um, so, yeah, then we have DeAndre Swift for the Bears. Um... Well, I, I still, I, you can see I'm a Viking fan, so I still have DeAndre Swift better than all the people we've had so far. He is going to have a down season, though, just because the Chicago Bears don't have the offensive line as the Philadelphia Eagles. 
Uh, but it, it'll be interesting now that Jason Kelsey's not there, how much Saquon Barkley is going to be able to impact the Eagles. All right, up next we got Brees Hall. Dude, Brees Hall, is a, he's a stud. I'm putting him ahead of DeAndre Swift comfortably. And he does have upside to go past Derrick Henry in this upcoming season. Me personally, I think that he is already a little bit better than Derrick Henry right now. Just because I think Henry is 30 or 31 this year. Man. All right, I've actually got Najee Harris. I'm taking Najee Harris over, man, Isaiah Pacheco and Austin Eckler. Um, I do like Najee Harris more than Pacheco, even though Pacheco is going to have the counting stats. Because he's playing with Patrick Mahomes, so he's like a Patrick Mahomes uh, prodigy, if you will. Uh, up next, we have the Jacksonville Jaguars. Is this going to be Travis Etienne still? Uh, yes, it is going to be Travis Etienne. Uh, dude, he was really good in fantasy football until about the back half of the season. Uh, I'm going to have to... I'm putting him a little bit lower than what people are expecting. Najee Harris had a big bounce back in the back half of that season. I even like Isaiah Pacheco over Travis Etienne. Um, yeah, both Etienne and Austin Eckler could easily make their way back up the rankings, but based off on how they finished the end of last year, that's where they have to stand for now. Up next, we have... Ooh, the Packers running back. It's not a. It's not Aaron Jones anymore because that's the Vikings uh, running back. It's gonna be Josh Jacobs. That is correct. Uh, Josh Jacobs, man. Again, another player who had kind of a disappointing season, but I like Josh Jacobs a lot. Uh, over Najee Harris, not quite. Nah. Over Isaiah Pacheco, not really. Travis Etienne, Austin Eckler. I think we'll have to put him behind Eckler for now. Just uh, uh, what happened in that last uh, last season. All right, up next we got Alvin Kamara. Uh, if suspensions impacted my ranking, he'd be going dead last. But Alvin Kamara is still a very, very good running back. It's just a shame that Derek Carr is the quarterback. Um, Kamara, I'm taking over DeAndre Swift. I'm not taking him over Brees Hall, though. I'm telling you guys, Brees Hall is going to have a top three caliber running back. Uh, season that was not even a sentence but you guys get what I mean hopefully the Jets offensive line gets a little bit better and he can stay healthy he's 100% gonna be there uh, Raiders it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be Zamir White uh, I like Zamir White over Zeke and that's pretty much all the positive things I could say about the Raiders uh, um, Chargers is gonna be JK Dobbins wait JK Dobbins and Gus Edwards both went to the Chargers that's kind of funny that's actually really funny. Um, uh, J.K. Dobbins. I like J.K. Dobbins a lot, but he can never really stay healthy. So I'm going to put him in this tier for now, but he will be probably moving down into this tier because looking at the teams coming up, there's still a lot of running backs better than uh, J.K. Dobbins. Up next, we got Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones. I Dude, I love Aaron Jones. Uh, is he better than Derrick Henry? I think so. Aaron Jones, he is a really good running back. I, I'm going to put him in the three spot for now. Uh, Vikings offensive line is probably about as mediocre as it's going to be. Um, he's going to have a monster season. And if the Vikings are going to even have a respectable season this year, it's gonna they're going to have to be able to run the football because we were not able to run the football last season. Up next, uh, is this going to be Javante Williams? It is going to be Javante Williams. Um... He, he's a really good running back. It's just a shame he's on the Broncos. Um, I think Raheem Mostert being a year older is going to put Javante Williams in that 16 spot for now. Um, yeah, he's a great pass-catching running back. Just uh, The Broncos are only going to win four games this year. This is a running back ranking. I can't stress that enough. Up next, we got Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb coming off injury. I, he's still he's still a top three running back even if he's coming off injury he's definitely the best running back we've had so far uh prayers to nick chubb i hope he has an amazing bounce back season uh, I, don't, I don't even know if he's gonna be ready for opening day but if he is that's gonna be a hell of a recovery up next we got christian mccaffrey it's christian mccaffrey up next we got i almost wanted to put a christian mccaffrey tier up next we got i believe it's gonna be james cook it is gonna be james cook uh james cook Better than Javante, better than Josh Jacobs. Austin Eckler, that's pretty crazy. But I, he did have a better year than Austin Eckler. I'm going to put him right here for now. I almost want to put him above uh, 
who is this? Travis Etienne, but I can't, man. I just can't. James Cook, you're uh, you're uh, ready for some success, man. Especially if Josh Allen is able to continue to throw the rock, the running game's just gonna keep getting better and better. Speaking of not getting better, we got the Carolina Panthers up here with with Jonathan Brooks. They have a rookie running back. He's probably still better than Zeke, honestly. So let's uh, let's get it. Up next, we got um, oh the Texans just signed uh, Joe Mixon, I believe. Uh, Joe Mixon, I'll throw him behind Devin A. Chan slash Raheem Mostert. He is going to have a bounce back year just because the Texans' O-line is actually pretty solid. And with C.J. Stroud continuing to get better and better, it's just going to open up those running lanes even more. Um, Giants running back now is the Texans' old running back in Devin Singletary. Oh, man. I, I still like JK. I like all of these guys in tier three over. Uh, who is this again? Uh, Devin Singletary. Sorry, Giants fans. Uh, up next, we got. Oh, who's even the Bengals running back? Uh, they got Zach Moss, dude. That's gonna that's a, a low, pretty good uh, pickup, if you ask me. Um, Zach Moss. Shout out for him for getting away from Jonathan Taylor and able to own a backfield. Uh, I'll put. I'm real confident with having Zach Moss right there, right ahead of J.K. Dobbins, but still behind the other guys in Kenneth Walker and Ramondre Stevenson. All right, up next we got, uh, I think this is Rasheed White for the Buccaneers. It is Rasheed White, and it, but they drafted a guy named Bucky Irving, so you never really know. Rasheed White is a volume running back. He, if he gets like 25 carries, he'll eventually break one for a long gain. But in just terms of being a running back, I... I'm taking J.K. Dobbins over him for sure. Uh, you could take a toss-up between him and Devin Singletary. Uh, I, I'll, I'll take Rasheed White barely, I guess. And it's it's kind of like uh, dumpster fire and dog crap between those two. Up next, we got... This is going to be David Montgomery or Jameer Gibbs. Dude, they're honestly like the exact same player in terms of skill set. And they honestly belong to be up here in the top eight. Uh, are either of them better than Brees Hall? I don't think so. But I am going to move Derrick Henry behind Brees Hall like that. And that means DeAndre Swift will drop down. And that means Javante Williams will drop down. And Rasheed White will go into the final tier right there. Um... Dude, I'm talking about the Lions. Um, they they could they're gonna have a lot of running room. Their offensive line is probably the best offensive line in the NFL. Now that the Eagles are starting to you know age and retire, monster breakout seasons. If you're able to draft David Montgomery or Jameer Gibbs, or if you can somehow draft both, that's gonna be a big plus. Up next, we got Jonathan Taylor. He's definitely in three or four between him and Saquon. I am going to give the slight edge to Saquon, which means Kamara goes down to nine, which means I forgot the Packers. Oh, Josh Jacobs and then J.K. Dobbins like that. Dude, I am really I'm really liking these rankings right here. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section below how you think the list is going. And then we got the Tennessee Titans. I think this is a Tony Pollard. Just want to double check. It is Tony Pollard. Uh, he had a really bad season. Uh, I am still probably going to take Tony Pollard over Zach Moss. So that will move Zach Moss down into the bottom eight, which is unfortunate. Wait, what What just happened? Eight, nine. Oh, I don't know how to count. Man, so that means... No, I can't take, I can't take Henry over Montgomery and Gibbs, bro. Derrick Henry falls to the second tier of running backs. That is unbelievable. There's a lot of good running backs in the NFL. But I didn't think there was eight running backs better than Derrick Henry. Uh, but yeah, for Tony Pollard, he's going to have all, the whole world to, to do because the Titans are working with Will Levis, a young quarterback, a really young team in general, to be honest. And yeah, that's going to be it for this rankings. I know it was kind of all over the place, but we obviously got CMC, Nick Chubb, and Saquon Barkley running out the top three, followed by Jonathan Taylor, Bijan Robinson. Aaron Jones, Brees Hall, and then take your pick between Montgomery or Gibbs, man. They're both really good. Um, let me know who you think is going to jump up the most and who's going to fall the most throughout the regular season. 
And other than that, it's been Zach. I hope you guys have an awesome Sunday because I'm going to be posting this later.